Unit 11, Social Issues. What are social issues? This unit's a little different from some of the other units that we've been discussing. Um, one of the things that we're attempting to do in this course is to show urban agriculture, show the issues that urban agriculture is facing, and then show potential solutions to those issues that urban agriculture faces so that we're better able to manage urban agricultural processes. In this unit, we're going to talk about social issues, and they're not necessarily um, issues facing urban agriculture. What we're going to talk about here are issues facing society that urban agriculture has a potential to impact. Okay? Um, so we're not talking about social issues that are anti-urban agriculture here. Um, we're talking about social issues that are reasons for urban agriculture rather than problems or opposition facing urban agriculture. And while there may be social reasons for not wanting urban agriculture in a particular place, zoning, aesthetics, concerns about livestock, um, there are more pressing social issues that urban agriculture can help solve. Hunger, lack of access to fresh food, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and many more, including lack of community within communities. As we said, there are social objections to urban agriculture, objections to livestock because of odor, noise, or fear of potential injury, um, objection to garden placement for aesthetic reasons, feelings of mistrust of outsiders coming in to start urban agriculture projects, a lack of education about the benefits of urban agriculture and fresh food. And we're not going to revisit these particular issues in this unit because we've talked about them in previous units. Instead, we're going to concentrate on those other social issues, mainly those that can be improved by urban agriculture, such as diet-related health problems. So let's look at some of those diet-related health issues. In a list of the social issues related to food and diet, health-related issues have to rank at or very near the top. So many of the health problems facing the world today are diet-related and as such are preventable if proper nutrition can be provided. Urban agriculture has the potential to make a difference in the diets of people around the world. And we're going to take a very quick look at some of these diet-related health issues in the next few slides and a little deeper look in the reading assignments for the unit. First is obesity. Obesity and related issues has become one of the top threats to health and longevity in America. In a recent study by the Centers for Disease Control, no state had less than 20% of its adult population fall into the obese category. The following is a chart that shows the prevalence of obesity by state, and it's from the CDC report, this data. This is the first part of the chart. If you look at the left column, it simply shows the state. The next column shows the prevalence or the percentage of the population that would be classified as obese. And the 95% confidence interval is that range in which they're 95% certain of these numbers. Now we can look down the list and find Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, um, Arkansas. Ah, these are more rural states, yet they have this high 
incidence of obesity. Second part of the chart with the rest of the states. Again, if you look at some of these states, some of the highest incidence of obesity are in states that are more rural. How can urban agriculture help there? Hmm. We'll actually talk about that. Diabetes. In the United States, diabetes is the leading cause of kidney failure. The leading cause of non-traumatic lower limb amputation. The leading cause of new cases of blindness among adults. A major cause of heart disease and stroke. And the seventh leading cause of death. While some diabetes is hereditary and is going to appear regardless, most diabetes is by and large, is by a large degree caused by and can be prevented and or controlled by diet. This little chart shows us the symptoms of diabetes. Lethargy, stupor, blurred vision, weight loss, breath smells like acetone, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, hyperventilation, the list goes on. Other diet and health related issues. In addition to obesity and diabetes, other health conditions can be caused by poor diet. Heart disease, and that is related to both obesity and diabetes. Stroke, high blood pressure, issues with joints caused by obesity requiring knee replacement or hip replacement, that sort of thing. So proper diet and access to nutritious food. Well, in the reading assignments for this unit are two publications from the Centers of Disease Control, the National Diabetes Fact Sheet 2011 and the Prevalence of Obesity 2009 through 2010. Now, as we've seen, these aren't the only diet-related health issues facing Americans, but are probably the two biggest and the two that are most easily prevented with proper diet. Studies have shown that simply providing people with access to fresh, nutritious food, including fresh vegetables and fruit, can change the way people eat, even without supplementary information. That's an amazing thing. If supplementary information is provided, such as education about diabetes and obesity, the changes are even more dramatic and long-lasting. Finally, opportunities for education. Once again, the idea of education coming up with urban agriculture. Most of us have very little idea of where our food comes from beyond the supermarket or restaurant. Even fewer of us have experience in growing any food beyond a tomato plant or two. We also don't fully appreciate or understand the relationships between food, soil, water, climate, and organisms in the environment, such as insects and soil organisms, such as bacteria and fungi. Urban agriculture is an opportunity to provide education in every one of these areas, plus areas such as entrepreneurship, business management, community relations, long-term planning, diet, health, exercise, and more. So looking at these social issues, we can see ways in which urban agriculture can really make a difference and can really, really help. In a later unit, we'll look at some possible ways and solutions that urban agriculture can deal with these issues. That completes this unit's presentation.